Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I am going to open up this seam right here so I can reach in and take out some of his fabric. Or fabric, take out some of his stuffing to make it a little bit better. Alrighty, so I opened up a little pouch and I can reach the stuffing and I am going to, oops, sorry, that's my foot. I am going to take out some of the stuffing to make more room for, I'm so sorry, Freddy, to make more room for the, um, the actual pouch part. And it looks like I'll just be able to take this to my sewing machine and just sew it up, so it should be fine. Okie dokie, I think I'm done unstuffing him. He's definitely flatter in the back, but there's a lot more room for this bag now. Um, are you guys ready to see the damage? Look, look at all the stuffing I took out. Oh, oh poor Freddy. The stuffing won't go to waste, trust me. I can use it to stuff other things if I make other things. So now I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I am going to sew this little this little pouch right here shut. Alrighty, he's all sewed back up. And now it's time to put the pouch back inside of his head. Look, I can like fit my whole hand now. I, there's definitely a lot more room now for other items. Alright, so to make the second pouch, I'm first going to fold some fabric in half. You can use anything you'd like that fits the stuffed animal's body. I'm then going to take my backpack and trace its body, including the legs and the arms. And then, after I trace the body, I just pinned my two layers together and I cut it out. And afterwards, I want to cut out just this long strip of fabric to sew onto each, like to sew on the edges of each layer to make it more 3D, as I'm showing here. And then afterwards, it should look a little bit like this. This is basically the main pouch. Um, it's quite roomy, which is the point. I want to put, you know, my stuff in it. Then I want to add the zipper which you would do just by adding a zipper. I'm sorry, I really didn't show that here. I can make a separate video doing that. But after the zipper is installed, you basically have a pouch. Then I want to seam rip the back of Freddy's back. And then here it is seam ripped. And now I'm going to take out some of the stuffing, or I guess quite a lot of it. <laughs> Poor Freddy. But, um, so... Here's the amount of stuffing I took out. It's it's quite a lot. <clears throat> but that's the point. If you, The more stuffing you take out, the more room you'll have. And then you just put the pouch inside the stuffed animal and you close it all up. And then here it is. I now have a backpack. Well, I now have my Freddy backpack with a second pouch that I can put all of my stuff in. And I can reach both the arms and both the legs, which I thought was really cool. So... Alrighty, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!